YouTubers, happy Friday. Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for joining us and being part of the channel. Happy Friday to everybody. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. I'm going to have my coffee here in a few minutes and let it simmer down. And we're going to sift through a bunch of crap is what we're going to do again this morning and find out what it is they're trying to sell us again. What are they trying to sell us? What is the mainstream media telling us or what is going on? Well, here goes, people. This is actually a pretty shaky one. So sit back, enjoy. Make sure you got a little bit of extra cream in that coffee to kind of thicken that a bit. Let's take a look. Guys, don't forget to set your reminders for God Rules will be on Mike in the Night this um, Saturday, tomorrow. We're going to be talking about what's going on with those blackouts, what's going on with a, a bunch of these topics that we have in headlines here. Also, Alaskan Prepper was on the show last Saturday. Don't forget to check that out and share that with your friends. Guys, if you want to send me show tips, send them right here. My, uh, Mike Martin's official. All right, what's going on? Let's start off with the United States of America. Montana governor lifts a statewide mask mandate. There you go. He's still wearing a mask, though. But yeah, I, I get what he's saying. Um, Helena, Montana. Montana's statewide mask mandate that had been in place since July was lifted on Friday by, by Governor Greg uh, Gianfort by some cities and counties are keeping local mask requirements because they think that the governor's move was premature. I don't know about that. Uh, they've already several sources, reputable sources. I, I don't even know who's reputable. I don't even, have said that, you know, masks really do nothing to be really realistically uh, straight up with you guys. I'm not a doctor, but that's what they've been saying forever, right? So there it is right there. He ain't wearing a mask and he's on a press conference. So he feels confident. If he feels confident, I feel confident, buddy. All right, what's happening in Nueva York? And New York Times is reporting New York restaurant fires waitress who wouldn't get the vaccine. Uh, Bonnie Jacobson, 34, said she was not necessarily opposed to getting the vaccine, but w wanted to study the potential effect on the fertility first. And you know what? I don't blame her. And, you know, I don't blame her and stuff like that. And after a, nearly a year of the pandemic decimating New York City, I'm not even going to read that. So there it is right there. So... Basically, she just wants to know what's going on with it and um, do your own research. Never depend on government for research. Like, none of, none of it is, is, is even transparent. None of it even adds up. Oh, they're saying, oh, less than 0.01% less than make up for foreign investing in Canada. It's like, well, you walk outside, you see something different. So, I don't know. So, let's keep going on here. Global Covey. Cases have doubled by, uh, so have dropped by half, and experts are looking for explanations. So this is the Globe and Mail in Canada is reporting on this. And as the number of COVID infections in Canada continues to fall, a similar phenomena is unfolding in many other parts of the world, leading experts to try to better understand the COVID, why the COVID cases are are um, plummeting right now. We don't need to read this because nobody knows what's happening because we're not being told what's happening properly. So this is from Fox News is reporting. AOC says Green New Deal would have helped to prevent Texas blackouts. Whoa! <laughs> um, I don't know if she knows, but you guys rejoined and Amerifornia is coming. I'm, yeah, I am I coined that term, Amerifornia. Amerifornia is on its way. What does that mean? It means that all of America with this new American select government will be turning into all of California. On affordability, homelessness, you watch. Amerifornia is coming to even the cheapest cities in America. Watch out for affordability levels where housing is going to go up 40 to 100% in some uh, rural areas in America. So what's happening? Oh, well, well, uh, the, uh, the, but, uh, the, oh, those wind turbines. We had um, 10, 10 push-ups, Billy Gates, saying that, oh, those turbines aren't designed in, in the South to, make, to, you know, accept or receive that much cold and they're not designed they're designed a bit differently i could see his argument maybe he's right i don't know how those things work but the question is does he know how those things work that's the question we need to ask the self-appointed world health minister is now a solar and power uh enthusiast that knows basically licensed red seal a red seal licensed electrician didn't know that but anyways so Comment below on this one. I love occasional cortex. I love when she comes out with this stuff. Okay, so what is this here? Okay, this is coming from the UK. Uh, uh, sorry. Pilmco plumber boss Charlie Mullins says most people would crawl naked across the snow for a vax 
as he draws up no jab, no job. Contracts for all new staff to use in two or three months. So there it is. New contracts are coming up. And we already covered this already. No jab, no job. In the UK and some companies right now are implementing it. So I'm trying to close this page here. But I, I don't know why it's not closing. Look at all this advertising here, people. So parents would be told to test their teenage children for COVID twice a week when schools reopen after unions refused to let teachers do it and pupils will need to wear masks in corridors. So there it is. You're going to have to start. Basically, this is coming again from the Daily Mail from the UK. You got to be testing your kids twice a week for COVID. All right. So here's more stuff here. Israel to begin reopening for the vax. So if you're if you got your vax, if you live in Israel, you are allowed to go out and do. You're allowed to get out. So Israel's Kovi cabinet voted. They have, they have a Kovi cabinet, a Kovi cabinet in Israel. Voted Sunday evening to expand the reporting of the is, Israeli economy and removed additional restrictions on public activity starting next week. Wow. That's that's huge. That's huge, huge, huge. Let's move over here. They will get one if they need one. Experts say handgun bans won't reduce gang-related violence. You know, handguns and Canada's going through another sweep of gun collecting and picking up guns. I, I, it's it's the it's not the gun that causes the crime. It's the person using it. It's the person that's. It's like a car. It's the person that drives the car that does the hit and run and takes off, not the car itself. Unless it's a self-driving car, but who do you blame? Do you go after Tesla for that? Oh, I'm wondering. Anyways, let's keep going here. Da, 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 da. This site can't be reached. Oh, no, here it is. Daily Wire's reporting. Lindsey Graham, come... Oops. I don't know what that is. Uh, Kamala Harris could be impeached if Republicans retake the House. And that's something that's been uh, happening below the radar. So we'll ask uh, Tony from God Rules on Saturday what's happening with that and what's happening in in office. What's going on? Uh, human flesh looks like beef, but the taste is more elusive. So, you know, they've been kind of... Well, it's like pork or maybe veal. So, you know, they've been trying to push this human flesh thing is good for for climate change and it's good for the environment and it's good for guys uh, <laughs> if you go back 50 years never mind 100 you go back okay you go back 50 years and you tell people what's happening today they'll look at you and like put you in an insane asylum 50 years ago people would put in be put in a straitjacket if i went around telling people guys i i got the future i know what's gonna happen in 2021 we're going to have a world self-appointed health minister that can't do 10 push-ups. And we're going to start telling people that human flesh, it's great. And then now they're bringing it up and you're going to see it everywhere. Scottsdale Golf Club uses vaccine passport for employees tracking COVID history. And that's pretty bad because a lot of these people are people. Hey, conservatives vote with their wallets. The other day I had a problem with my internet and I tried to contact somebody, talk to somebody. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't happy, and they just hung up the phone on me. I canceled my store, and I canceled my house, and I called the competitor. And if that competitor, I'll just get this, the satellite from Tesla or Elon Musk or whatever and get the satellite internet from there. So so people need to start picking up their game in customer service if they, if they want to keep customers. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. Let's move it on. Move it on. So Canadian Travel News is saying, what are they saying here? Canada's 14-day uh, quarantine rule to stay until at least April 21st, says Trudeau government. No jab, no job, as UK firms make vaccines mandatory. Uh, thank God I don't work for the private sector. Uh, thank God I don't work in the private sector or public sector. I work for myself. Electricity tariffs to raise 15%. Wow. There it is, people. That's coming from South Africa, but still, they're going to be, you know, the Green New Deal. You got to be part of it. These European countries are launching vaccine, the passport. So there it is, people. What countries is it? I see the UK there already. I'm not going to, oh, they don't even have a list. It's in here somewhere. So, uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm just trying to see if I can find, I see Iceland. Iceland, Greek, England. So there's a 200-page report on this if you guys want to take three days to read it. And 
Canada is at risk of joining the world's most repressive regimes in intolerance for free speech. Yes, they are pushing, they're pushing for this, they're trying to push Bill C C10, where they ban people from broadcasting uh, on the on YouTube without having a broadcasting license in Canada. So a lot of Canadian channels will be on the chopping block. We have to apply for a broadcasting license, and then it's, it's going to be like 20, 30 grand. But the, the companies that do the mainstream media news could get that because they get bailed out by the government. So they take the government's bailout, apply for the license, because if they had to scrap together 220 grand, they wouldn't be able to do it on their own. So it's government bailouts. Uh, the media is being bailed out. The media is losing to crap like this. This crap you're watching here with me is all crap because this is what it is. And unfortunately, the, the media is losing and it's becoming a major issue because they're losing. And nobody wants cable anymore. And now people are going to have to start really kind of blocking internet sites going forward so they don't have to see this crap. So that's what's happening right now. Bill C-10, watch out for that. Okay. And Facebook blocks users in Australia from sharing news. Canada could be next, of course. So Facebook blocks users in Australia from sharing news. So users cannot. So Facebook was blocked uh, blocked users in Australia from viewing and sharing news on the social media platform. The move was triggered by Australia joining France and other governments in pushing Google, Facebook, and other internet giants to pay publishers for news content. So there it is right there. Canada's going to be all over this like stormtroopers into Poland. They're going to be all over this, guys. You guys have no idea. And let's end today's segment with Florida Man. Florida Man caught masturbating in Walmart parking lot, told cops he was lonely, and the New York Times is, New York Post is posting this, and a man was arrested uh, in the parking lot in Florida. Walmart told police he took matters into his own hands because he missed his girlfriend. There it is, Florida Man, in the news again. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, be part of the channel, share this video, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is a bunch of crap. Morning coffee with Mike, tons of crap to cover. And let me know what you guys think. Look forward to seeing. I'm going to read your comments in the next hour or two. Thanks for watching. And set your reminders for Mike in the night. I have spoken.